What's up guys? Hey, I'm uh, reporting to you from a secret location. I'm sure some of you might be able to figure it out. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to say happy Monday morning and give a shout out to one of our awesome reshapers and a, uh, a good friend of mine, Courtney Rebercheck. You are kicking butt. 60 pounds in six weeks is what she lost. So I want to give her a shout out and, uh, and tell her what's up. and. and Tell her how proud I am of her. So, Courtney, great job, and uh, we are all so proud of you. Keep going, keep up the incredible work, and uh, I, I certainly know that you are. Anyway, so things are going well. I'm uh, just jamming, doing my thing, but I wanted to answer a couple of questions that uh, that come in all the time, and, and one of the biggest questions that we get a lot are um, it, there are questions regarding proteins and protein powders and without a doubt protein powders are some of the easiest ways to get our protein sources and number one it's in extremely inexpensive number two it's extremely convenient um, the, the great thing about protein powders is that um, oh, I apologize for the road noise uh, the best thing about protein powders is that we can carry them everywhere uh, because they, they don't spoil. You know, they're, they're, they're simple powders. And fortunately, you know, the, the old protein powders that we used to get, number one, they just tasted awful. But since the industry has really woken up to it, now we've got these protein powders that taste amazing. On top of that, the old protein powders, the only thing you could get was with what was called whey protein concentrate. But now, uh, the industry is really waking up their eyes to certain food sensitivities, certain food allergies. And so now we can get egg protein, we can get rice protein, we can get uh, pea protein. Sorry about this, uh, we're having some lighting issues. But we can get like pea protein, we can get um, just about every kind of protein you could possibly imagine in a powdered form. Uh, a few different places that you can go to that are nationwide. I know Whole Foods carries a whole bunch of different kinds. But really, what kind is the best? Well, um, you know, gosh, another ex extremely popular one is soy protein. Here's the kicker. If, if you look at the, the most, um, the, the most food sensitivities that are out there. Number one, as far as food sensitivities go, are, is dairies, milk. And so whey, and, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of whey protein, uh, whey actually is a derivative and it comes from dairy. So sometimes, sometimes people can have sensitivities to whey proteins. And so if it, if it upsets your stomach, then you, you might want to look for an alternative protein. You might want to look for egg protein, rice protein, soy protein, or, or pea protein. Like in, and they'll actually get it from peas and beans. Um, however, if you look down the list of different food sensitivities, soy is number three, I'm sorry, uh, eggs are number three on the list, soy is number four. So quite often, if you do have egg or soy sensitivities, then of course that's gonna nix them off the list. Now, I just went to Whole Foods down the street here and I picked up what I usually get, and I, I typically get just a regular whey protein powder. It works really, really well for me. I, I love this stuff, and uh, it's a basic chocolate flavor. One of the things I really want you to look for when it comes to getting your protein powders is um, a lot of the ones that you're going to find at the uh, the big chain stores, your GNCs, High Healths, Vitamin Shops. Um, some of the big major brands, they still use some of those artificial sweeteners called ACE-K or sucralose. The ACE-K is shortened for um, it's acid sulfame potassium. But, so look for ACE and then a big S-U-L-F-A-M-E potassium or sucralose. We, we want to avoid those and once again the industry is waking up there. They're, they're waking up to the whole uh, natural foods movement and these natural sweeteners and they're moving over to stevia. So a lot of these new whey proteins actually they use stevia as their sweetener which is fantastic. So really it's going to come down to personal preference understanding which foods that your body has sensitivities to being aware of that and moving around those sensitivities and actually getting uh, different proteins that, that your body can handle and then looking at the different sweeteners so there's a, there's a bunch of different kinds out there there's no right or wrong answer to, to selecting the right way or the right kind of protein for you it's really going to be um, a little bit of trial and error and and all the trial and error for me, as far as my biggest concern, is looking at those sensitivities and uh, learning which ones that, you're, that, that work with your body the best and stick with those. And then from there, making sure that, of course, it's going to have the, the natural sweeteners in there, and then you're good to go. So, 
hope that answers some of your questions. And uh, get out there, enjoy those powdered proteins, whether it's whey, whether it's egg, whether it's soy, whether it's uh, brown rice protein, whether it's pea protein, whether it's hemp protein. Uh, you can find them all out there. And it's, it's fantastic because there are so many more companies that are creating more and more proteins for us to enjoy. Um, and it, it's, it's awesome because they're just so darn inexpensive and we can carry them everywhere. So uh, get out there, enjoy those proteins, and uh, keep reshaping the nation. See you guys.